To solve word problems in my classroom, I have my students follow a six-step process. The first step is to create a plan, and in that, that first step includes... To solve word problems in my classroom, I have my students follow a six-step process. In this, I call it a create a plan. First, I have the students rewrite the question that is being asked from the word problem. Next, I have the students write down and identify, highlight, or in some other way identify the key information. Next, I have my students draw a model of some sort. It could be a picture, it could be a number sentence, something that represents what they're going to be doing and how they're going to be solving the word problem. The fourth step is to write the number sentence that they'll be using in the solution of this word problem. It might be one problem, one number sentence for a single uh, process word problem, or it might be two or three number sentences depending on the type of problem. Step number five is for the students to answer the question that they wrote in step number one of this process. So this is actually a written description or response to the question that they were asking. I'm not looking for a math sentence and I'm not looking for just numbers. I'm actually looking for the written explanation. The last step is to explain your solution. This is a critical step that will be included in the tasks that are included on the park exams and other common course assessments that are given to students. Explaining their thinking is the most important part of this process.